How's it going YouTube Tech here? In this video, I will be testing Resident Evil 4 on the iPhone 15 Pro, the only iPhone capable of running this game. So iPhone 15 Pro is rocking its industry's first ever 3 nanometer A17 Pro chip and we will test that with Resident Evil 4. And unlike any typical mobile version, this is an actual console level game, taking advantage of the A17 Pro chip. So you need at least 13 gigs of storage for the free base game and an additional 17 gigs if you purchase the full game, that is total 30 gigs. So before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's see how it performs. September 30th, the cop inside me died that day. That night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Well, even before starting the game, the phone is already heating. And it started heating right here, probably where the A17 board chip is located. And I don't think I can blame the phone itself completely. I mean, I'm in a room with no AC or a fan. And the room itself is so hot. So I guess the phone is definitely gonna heat. Well, I have already played it before in an air-conditioned room and the phone was way cooler than now. It was definitely heating oh, near the chip but the rest of the phone was cool. Just take my word for it. that
You saw that right? The game just stuttered because the phone is super old now. But it went back to normal. Just 7 minutes of gameplay took 6% battery. We started at 31% and now we are at 25 Although, even after being super hot, the game did good enough. Well, that is the whole breakdown analysis of Resident Evil 4 running on an iPhone 15 Pro. Thanks for watching. Peace out.